Hello there, this is a video for the promos that you can get for Crown of Imara. These are three cards and I'm just going to open them up and show you what they look like. It's just an initial view of what they are, what they do. You can see this information on Board Game Geek. I just thought it'd be quite interesting to see, you know, grab them out and see what's going on. So we have a different kind of card for each of the different kind of key parts of the game that you use cards for. So let's start with A. So A is where you place out cards around the rondelle, and what you're looking to do is maybe buy those cards subject to those resources coming up. So as an example, I'm leaving it in the box in this instance just to keep the video short. Uh, you're going to have these different tracks. Of course, I'm guessing you won't be watching this video if you haven't played it, but um, it gives you a bit more of an insight. This will be just the first video. There's going to be another video of me deliberately playing with these cards in a game, and that is going to be another review. Additionally, to doing a solo game again specifically using these cards so this is going to be card A's these are cards placed around the edges these are the kind of people that you can uh, deal with and hire and um, yeah do different things with so it's going to cost you a coin interestingly and a cloth and you're going to gain four prestige so your people are going to your counselor is going to advance four places on the track and one time per round, so if you remember there's 18, I guess, kind of rounds, um, then what's going to happen is each time you can spend a sovereign ring to move an additional space and of course triggering that. So that sounds very interesting. That's the, one of the best things in the game, I think, the fact that you can move again. It's an extra action, basically. It's like an extra round for free. So let's move on to card B. Out of interest, if you're in Germany, Diplomat auf Deutsch, same word. Same thing, obviously, on the back. So it says Promo 2. Uh, I guess it does make sense to start off with um, what happens specifically at the beginning of each round, you reveal a card. So, okay, I'll switch back to this and go back to B. So this is promo one, and this is renovation of the castle, or auf Deutsch, Renovung de Berg. Rene is it Renovierung de Berg, I think. So um, basically, whenever you wish to, um, I think, donate, or it's like giving charity to a degree, whenever you're donating, giving your gifts, um, you're going to move this an additional one space. So you're actually moving it backwards. So it allows things to be cheaper if you want to then um, give more wood, more stone, more grain, or more cloth. That's quite interesting. But to be honest, this isn't one I don't use. I don't use this one that much. So finally, B. Now, this looks most fun, definitely. Two bread. Now, I've shown you before going for loads of bread. So going for too much bread is a bit of a problem. It's uh, Three is great because it's one to three and you can donate. But uh, more than that, it's a bit of an excess and you're going too far up on the track. So it does balance it. Um, you might swing it too much one direction, but to get eight prestige and eight, um, eight on the sort of prosperity track, on the housing track, I think that's very good because suddenly, regardless of how you're doing, you're eight points clearer than where you were before, which is eight points more than your, your rivals. So um, very interesting one to go for. And like I said, especially in a solo play, that looks like a really good card to have in place. So these are the promos. It uh, comes in a bag and you can buy these uh, promos on, um, uh, if you look on Board Game Geek, there's a listing if you look under the buy option. Um, and yeah, the cheapest ones are on there, um, are currently shipping from the UK. So that is um, Crown of Amara, the promos. And if you're interested in them, uh, by all means, have a look, see what you think. Um, and as with all the other videos, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're liking the others, please do the same. If you wish to subscribe, if you haven't, um, please do that as well. It lets you see, for example, um, be the first people to see this being played in action. And additionally, if you have any comments, by all means, chuck them in the YouTube comments and I can get back to you straight away. So thanks very much for watching. That is now going to go in the box for Crown of Amara, which means this needs to be switched the other direction. And I need to be weighing it. So what I'm going to do is actually weigh it first and then come back and uh, do, do it in the box. So we've got the weighing going in at not much at all, four grams. So it's really going to yeah, do very little to the weight you're carrying around. And carrying on their own, yeah, down to three grams. It's amazing how much just a bit of plastic uh, is. My plan is I may well just keep them together in this particular order. Um, like in the plastic bag, it comes with one. I'm in no real hurry to run out of plastic bags. But yeah, 
that's it. So that is Crown of Amara. It's going to go in the box and um, we're going to have a chance to play this sometime soon. I know people are interested in playing it. So good. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll be bringing you some more videos very soon. Take care and goodbye.